Now let us discuss about conditional control statements, which can also be called as decision making control statements or branching control statements or selection control statements. Let's see what is the advantage of uh, these statements. Conditional control statements works based upon a condition. To represent the condition, we mainly use relational operators such as greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, double is equal to or not equal to, as well as we can use strict equality and inequality operators also, triple equal to, not double equal to. And logical operators such as logical and, logical or and logical not operator. Mainly we have four types of conditional control statements. First one is simple if. So simple if is nothing but uh, if statement. Second one is uh, if fail statement. Third one is else if ladder or can also be called as nested if else or can also be called as if else if statement. Fourth one is switch statement. So first let us see about uh, simple if. Uh, it is mainly useful uh, when there is only one condition. Simple if is useful if there is only one condition. Simple if statement is the most simple decision making control statement. Uh, so if we have only one condition, we use simple if. If there are two conditions, then we use if else statement. If there are more than uh, two conditions, then we use else if ladder. Okay. Uh, let us see the syntax of the simple if. If a condition uh, within the curly braces statement block. Okay. Uh, here, if the first condition will be evaluated, if the condition is true, statement block will be executed. Suppose if condition is false, then the control comes out from the if. Okay, So the statements following the if will be executed. Suppose here, if the body contains only one statement, then curly braces are optional. Okay, These curly braces are optional, not compulsory. Whereas if the body contains more than one statement, more than one statement, then curly braces are compulsory. So when curly braces are compulsory, if the body contains more than one statement. When curly braces are optional, if the body contains only one statement. Uh, now let us see an example for the if. Let us read uh, yes, yes is equal to, read yes uh, with the help of the prompt box. So prompt of enter yes, enter yes. Here by default, uh, prompt box returns string as the input. But here yes means it is integer value. So we have to convert string into integer with the help of the parsing method. Okay. Uh, so when a person is eligible for voting, if yes is greater than 18, then we can say that uh, that person is eligible for voting. So let us display the body. So document dot write off. Uh, display the message in header tag. Eligible for voting. Eligible for voting eligible for voting okay uh, now let us run the program let us run the program let us run the program yeah we have some errors let us see what what are the errors yes is equal to parsing of yeah so we need to close we need to write semicolon here okay now let us run the program yeah now let us enter the is let the age is 45 45 is greater than 18 so we'll get output as eligible for voting. Let us run the program one more time. Now let us enter 15. 15 is greater than 18. Condition is false. So nothing will be printed now. Nothing will be printed. So if you want to print, uh, if the condition is false also, then we have to go for if else. Now let us see about what is the advantage of the if else. If else is mainly useful if there are only two conditions. Now let's see the syntax for the if else, if condition, Within the curly braces, true statement block. Else, within the curly braces, true statement block, statement X. So, first condition will be evaluated. If the condition is true, then true true block will be executed. And after that, control comes out from the if else. So, statement X will be executed. Okay. Suppose if the condition is false, then the control will be transferred to the, if the condition is false, then the control will be transferred to the else condition. So, else block will be executed. And after that, statement X will be executed. So statement X will be executed irrespective of condition is true or false. So here also, the curly braces are compulsory when the body contains more than one statement. Now let us see the program. Program, else, else. Suppose if the AZ is 
less than 18 then display the message as yes, not eligible for voting okay not eligible for voting okay now let us run the program so let us enter an age 45 so 45 is greater than 18 so we'll get message as yes, eligible for voting now let us run the program one more time let the age is 15 so 15 is greater than 18 condition is false so we'll get message as yes, not eligible for voting so this is about if and if else now let us see about third one so what is the third one else if ladder or nested if else or if else if statement if there are more than two conditions then we have to use else if ladder let us see the syntax for the else if ladder if condition one statement block one else if condition two statement block two else if condition three statement block three so on likewise we can write a number of conditions so on else statement block n and after that statement x suppose if condition 1 is true then statement block 1 will be executed and after that control comes out from the else if ladder so statement x will be executed suppose if condition 1 is false then condition 2 will be tested if condition 2 is true then statement block 2 will be executed and after that control comes out from the else if ladder so statement x will be executed okay so when the last else block will be executed if all the previous conditions are false then the last else block will be executed now let us see an example for the else if ladder let us read two numbers let the first number is a let the first number store the value in a enter first number uh, next store the second number in b let us do the arithmetic operations using the else if ladder so b is equal to b is equal to parsing of prompt of enter second number enter second number uh, next let us read an operator okay let us read an operator here operator means uh, it may be a character or string so there is no need to convert uh, that string into the integer why because operator means it is a string only okay now let us display the um, now let us write the code so here we have to use lc ladder okay so if if operator double equal to plus it is a string so place within the double quotations if, if, if operator double equal to plus then then uh, store the uh, then uh, we need to perform uh, addition operation so result is equal to a plus b here here we have uh, only one statement so curly braces are not compulsory curly braces are optional okay next control c next what is the next operator else if next operator is minus if we entered minus then we need to perform minus operation minus operation likewise uh, uh, we need to perform remaining operations so if the if we entered uh, operator as star then perform uh, star operation uh, otherwise uh, next operator is uh, uh, division operator forward slash if we entered division uh, operator then perform the star operation suppose if we entered modulo operator then perform the modulo operation then perform the modulo operation perform the modulo operation and after that we have to display the result so let us display the result let us display the result so in order to display the result we have to use document so document dot write off display the re result in header tag so h1 result is plus result is available in res and then we need to close the header tag okay close the head attack close the head attack now let us run the program here uh, yeah uh, here uh, enter this is your operator so enter an operator 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 is a string so there is no need of any type conversion okay now let us run the program enter the first number let the first number is 10 enter the second number let the second number is star uh, let the operator is into so 20 into 10 means 20 into 10 means 200 if you see the output here result is 200 so the major disadvantage of the lc ladder is let us assume that we entered modulo modulo operator so first to first condition will be evaluated modulo double equal to plus false next to second condition will be evaluated modulo double equal to minus star next third condition false fourth condition false so the false conditions will also be checked in order to overcome this problem we have to use the switch in switch only true conditions will be evaluated okay 
now let us see the syntax for the switch switch is mainly useful when we have a number of choices and we may need to execute a different task for each choice so this is the syntax here switch off expression uh, similar to the c only so within the curly braces case space value 1 next colon statement block 1 break case value 2 colon statement block 2 break likewise so on what is the last case default colon statement block break so first expression will be evaluated here the expression may be either integer expression or uh, a floating point expression a number it is a number or it may be a character or string expression there is no problem suppose if the expression matches with the corresponding case value then that statement block will be executed okay these case values can also be called as labels and after the value we have to use the colon symbol so whenever the break statement is executed then the control comes out from that switch okay here the default is not compulsory it is optional only if the expression doesn't matches with any case value then default will gets executed now let us see an example for the switch um, switch off same program do with the help of the do with the help of the switch so switch off operator next what is the first case case it is a string so place within the double quotations colon result is equal to a plus b and then use break statement and then use break statement okay now let us eliminate all these statements yeah next next control c if we entered minus then we need to perform subtraction operation so result is equal to a minus b next next one is star 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 so we need to perform star operation okay so next one is division operation division operation division operation so last one is modulo operation modulo operation so here the default is not compulsory it is optional only okay so modulo operation and then we need to close the switch switch next display we are displaying the result so result is available in what result variable okay uh, let us uh, run the program now let us run the program let the first number is uh, 14 let the second number is 3 14 3 let us perform modulo operation so 3 4 are 12 modulo will always gives reminder so uh, 14 minus 12 means 2 so 2 will be the output 2 will be the output so if you observe the output result is 2 okay uh, here the major advantage of this switch is if we entered modulo then directly control goes to case modulo and the body will be executed whereas if it is lc ladder the previous uh, false conditions will also be checked okay so this is about uh, conditional control statements in javascript